First up, we have the M-Class Compressor, a traditional compressor design with its variable threshold control. Here's the M-Class Compressor shown with its default settings. To accurately reproduce the following examples, I would need to increase the ratio to its maximum and also set the attack and release to their fastest settings. Let's start by drawing an audio waveform graphic in a box with time running left to right and level running bottom to top. I'll define the top of the box as representing 0 dB full scale or clipping. This graphic represents an audio signal that just barely hits 0 dB full scale without going over. Next, I'll add a threshold line and show what the resultant audio would look like after compression. Notice that because of the gain reduction, the audio is now quieter than before, so we must add makeup gain to get the signal back to where it was before compression. So we have a two-step workflow when using traditional compressors with variable thresholds. The first step is setting the threshold for gain reduction. The second is adding makeup gain to restore the original audio level. The maximizer, in contrast, has no threshold control. Instead, it uses a fixed threshold design with the threshold being set just below the clipping point to allow it to function as a brick wall limiter. To set the maximizer to brick wall mode, start with the default settings as shown here and then click on the look ahead button located here. Let's use the same audio graphic as last time, except now I've redefined the clipping point as being the same as the threshold. Note that the audio is the same as last time, but looks different because the 0 dB line is now lower, which allows some headroom above the clipping point for the next step. When we increase the input gain here, we would normally clip the output. But thanks to brick wall mode, the audio will be limited to 0 dB full scale and not go over. The end result is that not only is the audio now louder, but it's also immune to clipping. These are two of the most important jobs for a mastering limiter to be able to do. By the way, this is a one-step workflow in contrast to the two-step workflow of the compressor. Finally, let's look at the soft clip section of the maximizer, which is activated right here. Soft clip operates similarly to the limiter section in that the preceding gain stage, in this case, the output gain, controls the amount of soft clipping. Let's draw our graphic here again and add the audio coming from the limiter section. Notice it's already limited. By increasing the output gain, you drive the soft clip module into intentional clipping, which, by design, is not nearly as aggressive sounding as hard clipping. Once again, by increasing the output gain, the audio is increased beyond the clipping point, but the soft clip module prevents any signal from passing that would clip the outputs.